do we create the next generation of space pioneers? How are we going to build that starship? How are we going to colonize Mars? How do we do that? How do we infuse in our future generations the, the in intellect and the experience to be able to do that? USC has um, believed for some time now that in order to answer these questions, we really have to think differently and create an educational environment different so that we can innovate and educate and they, in essence, have pioneered the methodology by which a department is now specialized in astronautics. This is one of the very few universities in, in, the, in the country, in fact in the world, with this particular distinction. Since 2004, the program has awarded more than 500 master's degrees. But more importantly, astronautics is, is an area where, uh, and space is an area which is very interdisciplinary. So in addition to people that study, let's say, propulsion as well as uh, uh, control in space, you also have people that are interested in the area of electronics, aviation, computer science, uh, GPS, many, many other things that are very useful in both the launching and as well as the uh, ultimately deployment in space. The breadth of the kinds of projects that we're able to execute here span the range from uh, literally building and launching our own rockets from the university um, to uh, building a lunar lander simulator that utilized uh, a jet cat engine, an RC turbine engine that took out gravity, to building the first two satellites that in USC's history that occurred here at the, at the CERC. All were done with the infusions of students as well as professional industry uh, experts, not only from within the university, but also from outside in industry that are working in the field today. Last semester, I took a class with a woman who worked at NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab. At the end of the semester, she actually brought the class in so that we could take a tour of JPL. And for me, that was really cool because it sort of reaffirmed that this is what I want to do, this is where I want to work. We did a tour at Virgin Galactic and we were able to talk to the engineers and really ask them specific questions about stuff we'd learned in the course. So it was really nice to see that what we had learned in our lecture was actually directly applicable to what they're doing in industry today. You come in and you spend hours and hours working on a design. Then you spend hours building one piece, it's not up to par, you have to scrap it and try again until you build this perfect vehicle. You know, you only get to see it for like five seconds until it's past the clouds, but it's just an amazing feeling to just see all of your hard work go up and just really hope that it turns out great. And when it does, it's, it's just an amazing feeling. The Lakewood Proportion Laboratory is currently collaborating with a Japanese university called the Kyushu Institute of Technology to uh, build a suborbital flight vehicle which we are providing the propulsion system for. So that's really showing how we're really expanding our capabilities um, and there's really something for any discipline here. We have professional engineers from industry as well as faculty that take on real projects that have schedules and costs and project deliverables that have to be done where students come in and are supported essentially as residents that are putting their hands on hardware to actually build the next generation spacecraft. On campus we have this ground station antenna that's able to, it's, it's a four and a half meter dish that's able to track signals from satellites. So the first project I was working on was operating that system um, to be able to track different satellites that are passing overhead over Los Angeles. Southern California is the heart of the aerospace industry and that's something that we treasure a lot and we thought that it uh, gives us a, a competitive advantage as well as uh, offering uh, a talent that can be absorbed by the local industry. We offer a business model, if you will, for both a unique attribute for students to train before they go to industry where there really is no liability to industry but they get 
the hands-on skill sets that, that truly is needed to replenish the U.S. engineering workforce in space. It's a remarkable uh, student group, very interdisciplinary, and um, we look forward to getting bigger and stronger in this very important part of, uh, of uh, future endeavor, both in engineering as well as for the world at large.